All right, now we need to tag our doors so that we can correlate our doors with our lovely schedule. Oh, and look, that's probably why this is, so why this is again, this one is double, doubled up. And wiggle this over just a little more adjusting. Of this. Now that's starting to get a little bit because these names are so long. That one's not too bad. I'm just trying to get that down here so I can center my floor plan a little better. There we go. So just adjusting the column widths of our door schedule. So let's tag our doors. Uh, let's go down to the main floor. We can do this quickly or we can do it individually. So, and some tags show the, the door type and show some show the mark type and different door tags can represent different things. You could have the tag, uh, say the width and the height of the door. You can have the tag, say the door type, A, B, C. You can have the, the tag, say the door number. Same as with windows, window type, window number, um, window size. Anything that that window knows, all these properties that you see in here and in here, these can all show up in tags. So it really depends on what the tag is programmed to display. So um, let's try. Let's just try throwing on a tag, a door tag, and see what we get. Annotation. Um, and because they will adjust to the scale because they're annotation, tag by category. Click. Hover over here and look, it actually is giving me door numbers. Good. So I can click on there and do them one at a time. Click, click, click. So that would take forever for me to go around and pick them all one at a time. But I could. I just wanted to see what kind of tag it's giving me. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to say tag all. It's going to say tag all what? Tag all doors. Okay. Pick the one you want to highlight and apply. Boop. That's it. There's all my door tags. Um, let's add some window tags. Tag all. Uh, window tags. Hit apply. Hit OK. Window numbers. Door numbers. OK, let's go to our second floor. Tag all doors and windows using my control button. Hit apply. Boom. OK. These guys need to be moved. Oh, now what's going on? Uh, window, these all have the same 29. These all have the same door num window number. So you know what? Windows are not doing what we want. Windows are giving me window type. Okay, if you pick on this window, this window is mark 24. This window is mark 23. That's the door. That's the window number. So although the door numbers were correct, the door numbers are giving us the, the door number, okay, not the door type mark, which is different, okay, which is over here. Okay. The type is type 1, type 2, type A, B, C. So we need to... Uh, get a different tag so watch we're going to say insert load family and we're going to go to annotations we're going to go to architectural and we want window tag number not window tag mra or this is the one we're already using we want this one shows the tag number not the window type hit open brings it in now it's loaded in our project it's going to be under here, under families, window tag, number. There it is right there. So watch how quickly I can do this. I can go, I think I can just do a big window box here. Do a filter. Check none and go window tags. There's 25 of them. And say you are not M window tag. You are window tag number. Click out. Now it's giving me the actual number. 
You can wiggle those guys up. Do the same with these guys. Okay. So now we've got window numbers. And let's go and see if our window numbers are actually sequentially running in the right direction. We don't have a window schedule yet. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, view, schedule, quantities, scroll to the bottom, windows. Window schedule, what do we want to know? We want to know the window. Uh, let's do the same thing, window level. Window mark, which is the number. Okay, where well, I'm double clicking. The window um, family and type. And the window width, I'm double clicking. And the window height. So again, I want mark first at the top, window number. Then the level, I'm going to take type, move it to the end, width and height, just like the door schedule. So now I have a new window schedule. Looks good. There it is there, and it's starting at window number one, uh, number four. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what I'm going to do is take the last few and make them one, two, and three. Watch, I'm going to make this one, I'm going to make this two, I'm going to make this window three. I'm going to also tell these to sort by window number. Watch, I'm going to go into here and say sorting and grouping. Sort by the mark ascending filter by level equals top of me okay so now i have those windows and this needs to be renamed um, window schedule main okay and i'm going to duplicate that And right click and rename that to be second floor. Okay, and that one is going to be filtered by equals second floor. So the numbers aren't perfect, but it doesn't really matter. They're they're numbered. The number is all it, all it is is a marker. It's a number. Um, and we could also create one that has them all together just to kind of keep them organized. But in the meantime, uh, back on my main floor, I can probably move this up a little bit. And then I'm going to say main floor window schedule, bring it in, click in here, grab my grip, same as I did before, and stretch that out. Gives me a bit of room. And using my arrow key, schedule that out. Second floor, uh, window schedule, second floor, drag it in, place it, stretch out my columns, make it net more narrow, drag this guy down. And then put this guy in. They'll line up. Oops, went a little too quick. There we go. Meta. Okay. Door schedule, second floor. Window schedule, second floor. So there's our floor plans with our windows. Now, do we get our tags in there? Top of second. Looks like we have our door and our window tags properly placed. Okay, these aren't tagging because these are curtain walls. They're wall types. Okay, wall types are different. We can talk about tagging them a little bit later. So there's our wall and door uh, tags and a little bit of adjusting to our schedules and our sheets.